The CDC says the country is experiencing the highest number of flu hospitalizations in a decade. The agency estimates there are, are, have already been 15 million flu cases so far this season, with nearly every part of the country reporting high or very high levels. We asked a doctor from Stanford Healthcare how to differentiate flu symptoms from COVID and RSV and when you should head to the hospital. That's a great question, and the, and the short answer is it's hard to differentiate the two viruses. They have many of the same symptoms, such as fever or chills, sore throat, shortness of breath, cough, uh, runny nose, and congestion. Flu and RSV tend to have symptoms that come on a little bit faster compared to COVID, uh, but without a test, it's really hard to know. That being said, the symptoms that really want to bring you to the hospital is if you're short of breath or you're having difficulty breathing. For young children, especially children less than two who often are more susceptible to RSV, that can be if you're working really hard to breathe or if they're struggling to breathe. For adults, if you're walking just a, sh a few short steps and you find yourself winded and need to sit down, that's often a sign that you need to come to the hospital. Emergency departments and hospitals, as you just said, are overwhelmed. And so we're really asking not to come to the ED just to get tested, but really come if you truly need to be there.